The KAIKF-21 Boramae is a South Korean-led fighter aircraft development program with the goal of producing an advanced multi-role fighter for the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces. The program is led by the South Korean government, which holds 60% of the program's shares. Indonesia took a 20% stake in the program in 2010, and the remaining 20% are held by private partners including the manufacturer Korea Aerospace Industries KAI. The first prototype was completed and unveiled during a rollout ceremony at the headquarters of KAI at Seishin Airport in April 2021. The first test flight was conducted on July 19, 2022, with manufacturing scheduled to begin in 2026. At least 40 aircraft are planned to be delivered by 2028, with South Korea expecting to deploy a total of 120 of the aircraft by 2032. The airframe is claimed to be stealthier than any fourth-generation fighter, but does not carry weapons in internal bays like fifth-generation fighters, though internal bays may be introduced later in development. The KF-21 Boramae is expected to be available for export market as well. According to a report by defense researcher Lee Juhayang, the development of the KF-21 is expected to cost more than 10 trillion Korean wons, 9.2 billion US dollars. However, as of the latest reports, each unit of the KF-21 is projected to cost around $65 million to $70 million. This price tag places the KF-21 in a competitive position compared to other 4.5-generation fighter jets, offering a more affordable alternative to the likes of the F-35 Lightning II, which can exceed $100 million per unit. The KAIKF-21 Boramae is a 4.5-generation fighter jet that has a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 or 2,200 km per hour, 1,400 miles per hour, 1,200 knots. It is powered by twin General Electric F414 GE 400K afterburning turbofans, the same power plant that equips the F-18 Super Hornet and the latest versions of the JAS-39 Gripen. The aircraft has an unrefueled range of 2, 900 km, 1,800 miles. The KF-21 Boramae has a single pilot, but two-seat prototype versions have been manufactured for testing, with a dual-seater version having more capability for multi-role missions. The KAIKF-21 Boramae is designed to be a more affordable alternative to the likes of the F-35 Lightning II, which can exceed $100 million per unit. The airframe is claimed to be stealthier than any fourth-generation fighter, but does not carry weapons in internal bays like fifth-generation fighters, though internal bays may be introduced later in development. The KF-21 will carry its weapons externally, MBDA Meteor Beyond Visual Range and Deal Iris T within Visual Range air-to-air -air missiles on the Block 1 version. The Block 2 variant is to carry precision-guided munitions and a planned domestically developed standoff cruise missile. The aircraft is equipped with advanced avionics, including an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, infrared search and track system, and data links. The flight and mission computers, radar jammer, cockpit instruments, and electro-optical targeting pod used to aid in ground attack missions are developed by Korean firms Hanwha and LIG Nex-1. South Korea's aerospace industry is largely driven by major players such as Korean Air and Korea Aerospace Industries KAI. Korean Air is the largest commercial airline and South Korea's national carrier. KAI manufactures and assembles parts and components for Boeing and Airbus, and they also design, develop, and produce aircraft using homegrown technology such as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, and rotor wing and fixed wing aircraft. In April 2021, KAI rolled out a prototype of the multi role fighter aircraft developed for the ROK Air Force under the Korean Fighter Experimental KFX, program. In addition, maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO, services for commercial and defense aircraft is another key area where KAI and Korean Air have a substantial presence in the Korean aerospace market. Korean Air, being the only commercial airline equipped with an in-house MRO facility with matching capabilities, provides maintenance services for its own fleet. In 2018, 
KAI established a subsidiary MRO company known as the Korea Aviation Engineering and Maintenance Service, CAMES, to provide MRO services for the civil aerospace industry. Introducing the sleek and cutting-edge KF-21 Boramay fighter jet. This bad boy is a real game-changer in the world of aviation. Picture this, a futuristic, top-notch aircraft that's set to leave you in awe. Behold the KF-21 Boramay, a true marvel in the skies. This fighter jet isn't your run-of-the-mill aircraft, it's a high-tech beast ready to redefine the way we look at air superiority. Check out the slick design, the kind that makes other jets jealous. The KF-21 Boramay is all about that next-level performance, combining speed and agility like a pro athlete in the air. But it's not just about looks and speed, this bad boy is armed to the teeth with the latest in cutting-edge technology. We're talking about a lethal combination of firepower and precision that'll make any pilot grin from ear to ear. So, buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life because the KF-21 Boramay is here to take the aviation world by storm. The KF-21 Boramay fighter jet represents the pinnacle of military technology, combining speed, weaponry, and advanced materials to create an unstoppable force in the skies. Its power and battery range make it a true game-changer in aerial combat. Danny, thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey into the world of military technology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the incredible advancements that shape our world.